Well, hey there, boys and girls. It is Embrace the Matrix. And we're going to do a little talking. Well, I'm going to do some talking. You're going to do some listening and some watching. And I'll do some explaining and some whatever. Happy President's Day. It's Monday the 20th. Um, this this one starts out this uh, 18 by 24 or 24 by 20. One of the two. You can see. Um, as you can see, there's already paint and some texture and stuff on the canvas. I've been working on this painting for months. And I've gotten other ones done in one evening. Whereas this one is literally taking me months to do. So I had so much footage and I lost so much footage. So this is it. This is what you get. So don't be mad. Be happy. So how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing well. But um, let's see. Where are we at? Yeah, we got to put some gloves on. You know how we do. Gloves. Just get crazy. It's a little titanium white with uh, probably some gloss gel medium. Again, this this is all just background. This is this is what took the longest. This is literally what took months to do. Was this this silly ass background? But I think it came out really cool. Like, you know, if you understand the philosophy of the whole lifelines movement or whatever you want to call it my philosophy behind the lifelines if um if you already understand that and if you don't you know i'll explain it to you sometime but i think everybody gets it by now if not if you're new around here um i don't know i've talked about it before watch some other videos with voiceovers but anyways but uh yeah, i told you telling you all to hold on a second i gotta go do something but and what am I spraying? Because people are probably going, what's he spraying? Uh, just water. We're making it wet. We like to make it wet. Um, you make it wet, as you can see. Uh, and this is not meant to be a tutorial. I'm just explaining what I'm doing. So don't take this like, like, I'm, like I'm some knowledgeable dude. I just do what I do. Um, but anyways, that's just, uh, I really like that too, man. Like you get it really wet in the paint and then you kind of put a paper towel down and I've never seen anybody else do that. I kind of get crazy with paper towels and plastic bags on canvases. I mean, it gives you some really cool shit and, and, uh, looks, but it, it really gives you some cool texture and stuff. This one, I can tell you this much in this painting specifically, a lot of emotion came out in this one, but as you can see, like the the like 90 percent of the video is the background and then i do the lines <laughs> and it's over it's crazy so uh oh rubbing alcohol so we're gonna you know and here's your thing I, I i put you know different kinds of solvents on canvases um usually it's just um obviously rubbing alcohol water uh i have an airbrush medium that i sometimes mix with water and spray um, when I'm working on a canvas, thin out the paint. I love airbrush medium versus water. It's just so damn expensive. Um, we're just spraying it with some uh, rubbing alcohol. Now, you know, we're not going for any cells or nothing. It's just, it's having a reaction to the paint. It's not a dramatic reaction, but it's, it's doing something. You know, it's breaking it apart more so than water would. So sometimes I like doing that. Because then you put another color on it. And I'm not sure if I do that here. But you put another color on it over it. Right after you do that. And thinly, lightly, you know, watered down color. And then you can get some cool effects. But I'm really just going for mass layers. And here's where it gets really crazy. I'm just like, screw it. Let's just throw some paint on our hands. And this is actually where I started to get some really cool ideas. Just by throwing some paint on my hands. And, uh. Got to tighten up that canvas a little. We like them tight too. But throwing some paint on your hands and just letting it go. So we let that dry, of course. Um, and that's probably like a raw umber or something. 
So then we take some crimson, crimson, which this is my favorite red ever. I think. I love this red, gallery new galleria. But then you know, I love how you kind of get that edge. You see how it gives you that kind of border. I think that's so cool. I love that. Oh no. You are now entering a zone where you're going to be possessed. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so we got a little Sienna, I think. And, I, you know, I started, hey, you know, listen, get, get, get your hands in it. You know, people talk about painting. And, no, really get your hands in it. This is how you do it. But I think uh, this is how I'm going to do my backgrounds from now on because I think, number one, it gives you some great texture. And it's just so freaking organic, man. I mean, this when it gets when I'm done with it, when I realize I'm done with it, when I say that's it, I think it looks so cool. And it, we're we're, go, we're not going for anything other than a background. <laughs> you know, we want to have a lot of dimension in the background, so we're doing a lot of layers and things. But we want to have, you know, a dynamic background because we're putting some lines on it. <clears throat> I wasn't a huge fan of dropping that teal, but it didn't kill it. You know, it didn't like take it into, uh, you know, like, uh, or, well, you know, take it to that place where you're like, oh, let's take it outside and burn it. I've said it before. That's what I love about acrylic paints, you know, just acrylic. It's so forgiving. I mean, you know how many canvases I've painted over? And I think it's awesome because, number one, there's a hidden painting under that painting. Two, I love when you add a lot of paint to a canvas. It just makes it feel so sturdy and solid and like absorbent, you know. And I just, I don't know. I, I love putting a lot of paint on a canvas. See, that's the thing. When you buy one of my paintings, you know you're getting a lot of paint. You're not getting some little drip drap, you know. What's a drip drap? I don't even know what that is. But, you, you know, you're getting a lot of paint. You're getting a lot of time. You're getting a lot of effort. You're getting a lot of creativity, um, especially in this one. Like I said, this one's taken months of uh, starting and stopping. You see, we're getting there now. Now we're getting somewhere. We got a little wild. Uh, and and again, I say it all the time. I'll probably say it every video. These videos don't do them justice. You know, and I'm not, uh, you know, I'm just trying to have a nice solid cam. I'm going to try doing some multicam stuff. I got a bunch of cameras. I'm going to try doing some multicam so you guys can see closer. I'm sure y'all like that. Um, but, you know, editing takes time. <laughs> and editing multi cameras takes a lot more time. But we'll figure it out because you people are worth it. So then we threw a bunch of white on it and, you know, kind of got it too white. So we had to kind of bring it back a little. But the texture on this one is so wild. It's not just it's not way off the canvas, but it's got a real wicked texture on it because of what I did previously before the video even started. And now that's the thing when you rub your hands over it because it's got that texture. I mean, the paint's only going to hit the top part of the paint, you know, what's sticking up per se. So, yeah, I mean, when you start seeing like the yellows and stuff, you'll see it uh, come out a little better. And remember, this is just the background. We're already like, what, eight minutes in? Just the background. But see, now you can see. Look, look, look. Are you looking? Pay attention. Get off your phone. So now we're starting to get somewhere. You see what I mean? Sometimes you have to go all the way around the world 17 times to get where you should have just went directly. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting there. We're not there yet. Not there yet, but we're getting there. I said put the damn phone down. Pay attention. If you're going to watch my video, watch my video. No, I don't care. You can just hit play. That's all. You let it go. Here we go. A little orange. Aren't you glad I used orange? And just so you know, the whole overall, what I was going for initially was a very organic urban. I mean, if you paid attention to what the hell I'm trying to do over here, you'll know I'm kind of heading in that direction. You know, we can make some crazy looking stuff with neon colors and, and, and reds and blacks, which is great. And I'm still going to make awesome stuff like that. But I'm really getting more into like an, an organic. Now, here's where 
I kind of get up, go off the rails a little bit. <laughs> like I had it going good. Now we bring it back. Don't get me wrong. Don't freak out. Calm down. Calm down. Put the phone down. You know, we're, we're going to bring it back. You know, I know everybody's probably like, man, you just screwed up that whole awesome looking background. In my mind right here, I kind of think I did. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going, man. Sometimes you can't stop and go, shit, now what do I do? Look, we just let it dry. Moving on. It looks good, though. It doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. But it did look better. So we're just, we're, we're going to bring it back a little. That's all right. Calm down. Relax. I'm here. I'm here with you the whole way. This is only a 20-minute video. You guys got this. So, yeah, we'll let that dry. Here we go. We're going to get some white up in there. You know, I've discovered the unbleached white, which looks more like a very, like, tannish beige. I like it because it's not white. Sometimes white is just, you know, white just drives you nuts, doesn't it? It does me. But, anyways, so, hope you guys are doing good out there. You can see what I'm doing here. You got that right. Things have been going terrible for me. I gotta be honest. Um, been uh, oh here we go here we go. No, I won't talk personal. Forget it. Here we go. Fun part lines. Now see that background looks pretty cool, right? Layers upon layers upon thickness upon oh lots of thickness. Um, but here we go. We're gonna start now. Putting the lines in. I only use hemp cord, everybody. For everybody asking, I'm telling you right now, only hemp cord. You can use cotton or whatever. I don't know. But I had to experiment with a few different kinds. I tried paracord. I tried more like twiny rope type stuff. And that wasn't too bad. But um, yeah, the paracord, forget about it. That was That was hilarious. I should have had that on video. But I, I settled on the hemp cord. 100% hemp cord that I bought at Pat Catan's. And it uh, it works really well. It holds it holds on to the paint really well. So I don't have to like keep, you know, getting the paint, uh, getting it wet. Because what, what basically what I'm doing is I'm, as I'm applying it, I got a couple techniques for how I do it. One, I just let it you know just go right straight down kind of like that right there i'm just like dropping it bam 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 um and another time another technique i might use is like i'll hold it down and then i'll pull it out so it gives it usually gives a perfect straight line you know when you do and you're just dropping it like i'm doing on this one you know you're getting broken lines and stuff and and whatnot which is fine i like that's what i like i like that organic unpredictable uh line because remember these are representing people so we got to make them all unique, right? We're all different. D depending on what you're identifying. Actually, I've been identifying as a 65-year-old uh, senior citizen. I've just been identifying as a 65-year-old senior citizen recently. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply for Social Security. Because that's what I identify as. Uh, as a 65-year-old. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, isn't that stuff silly? I think it is. Um, but anyways, so we're... Uh, you know, throwing some lines. It's black, just in case you're asking. We're setting a, like a black tone here. And the reason I do the background and then, you know, do the different color lines and stuff is because, again, it doesn't, you don't see it really well on the camera. But when you look at them in person, it, it really gives a, a three dimensional, fifth dimensional kind of look, and you can really get lost in looking at it. it it's pretty wild. And, uh, you know, it's just when you see the, the way I lay down the different colors, and oh, yeah, I'm hitting it with the uh, torch before you ask, just because, you know, when I uh, mix up the paint, when I got to thin it out, I you get a lot of bubbles. So when I'm dropping it, I don't care if there's bubbles sitting there. They can stick around or they can pop on their own. But I will, you know, kind of go over where I see them because I want the paint to dry nice and smooth and uh, clear, you know, you know, nice and glassy like or matte like. So, yeah, we're just going to go through a few colors. I believe this is the unbleached. It's not white. It's unbleached white. So it's got that kind of light beige skin tone kind of color. It's pretty cool. So yeah, things haven't been great. Uh, my doctor's got me on a couple of different kind of meds, uh, SSRI pills because I'm 
my depression has gotten pretty, pretty bad. Um, so we're been experimenting on pills, which is just wonderful. I'm not a real big fan of the process, to be quite honest. Um, I've tried going a holistic approach for years to, hand, to you know to, to maintain my you know anxiety and depression issues and DPDR and stuff, and it kind of worked. And then they just the the mental issues overtook the holistic approaches, you know. <clears throat> so I had a you know dive into Western medicine, get on some SSRIs, which kind of sucks to be honest with you. But especially when they got to start tinkering with milligrams and you're on multiples and you got to come off one while you're boosting up another one and you know you're trying a new one, but you know you can't just quit these things cold turkey or you'll go into like crazy withdrawals and you know it'll be you'll be in you know bad shape. Like, you know, I don't know if it's to the extent of like a heroin withdrawal or, you know, serious um, narcotic withdrawal, but I, from what I've seen online, it's not good. Um, so, yeah, so they got to, you know, taper you off and then boost you up. So I got one coming down, one going up, you know, it's just, man. And if any of you out there, have, you know, had to deal with mental health issues, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you deal with a psychiatrist, because they're great and they're nice and they're helpful and they're trying to help you. But again, it's everybody's different. So I you see people like commenting on like different medicines and pills and stuff. You can't really take it to heart too much because everybody's different. You know, I see people with success on Zoloft and stuff. I've, I took Zoloft and it made me feel like an absolute zombie. Um, even my wife noticed instantly. It was terrible. It was crazy. It, I, I really felt like a zombie on Zoloft. It was just, uh, probably the scariest I've felt on a, oops, sorry. The scariest I've felt on a med. So, you know. Yeah, it didn't work. I've tried other great things. I'll tell you what works. If you if you really want to know, not that I want to get into this little no, little rant, but uh, Brintelex, which is now called Trintelex. So if you have depression, if you have anxiety issues and stuff, and you can get access to, or you get your doctor to prescribe you Trintelex, which is what it's called now, but it was originally called Brintelex. Um, check that stuff out because that's the one pill that one pill, mind you, a low dosage too. I had the lowest dosage, one pill, and that stuff worked. The only reason I couldn't continue forward, because even though I pay ridiculous amounts of health care insurance for my our wonderful Obamacare, um, I still couldn't afford the meds. It was like $140 a month for a 30-day supply of the pills. My doctor was giving me uh, free, prescript, free, uh, free samples for over a year, because I just couldn't afford it. And... Uh, it just became an issue eventually <laughs> like i couldn't keep letting her be my pusher you know so we try we're trying other things now which is really sucking let me tell you i missed those trentelex because i took the one pill i felt great and i was productive and working out every day it was wonderful but because of our shitty ass health care in, in the united states and the fact that we really don't give a shit about our people and it's all about bureaucracy and and, and making money with the you know the multi-millionaire health insurance companies and all these other jerk offs Ugh. anyways let's not talk about that stuff so yeah so anyways i haven't been feeling great i haven't been posting a lot of videos i haven't been doing a lot of social media because i just been down and out and not feeling really good but <clears throat> i've been wanting to get this one out to you guys because it is you can already see it look look at that look at that fifth dimension look at that Do you even know where you're going in this thing it's like is it coming at me am i going am i getting sucked into it what's happening here you know it's really uh really bizarre and we're not done yet and it sucks too because i put a real great um like maroon type color on it but of course we don't have that freaking footage so i can't even roll that beautiful bean footage because i don't have it so yeah Hope things are going better for you all out there. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you for supporting me. I appreciate it. I'm over a thousand subscribers on here and it keeps growing. I love it. I appreciate it. If you could share, you know, like, comment. I reply to every single comment when I can, but every comment will, will get replied to. You know, you guys can follow me on my social media, whatever. And, uh, you know, I, I, I love engaging with people. I love talking with people that, you know, maybe have the same, some of the same mental issues I have or just want to talk art or whatever. You know, I, I ask me anything. Ask me anything at all. I'm an open book when it comes to myself. <laughs> I'm not a bashful to talk about my drug use in the 90s. Oh, here's my other technique, too. 
um, which I do. It's like throw it down and then drag it over. But because there's so much texture that you can't see, it just gives this really cool wild like um, like it's moving to the side, like it's rotating kind of effect. So again, you know, so that's why you got to come on out or you just got to buy it. I think you should just buy it and then you could get it home and then stare it at your wall for days and days and try to figure it out. Cause there's actually some hidden stuff in here and I, I don't even, I have the video. I was going to post a video, but I decided not to, but we're about to end the video because that's all that I had. So I'm going to be quiet for a second and I'll let you read this. Exactly. What the hell am I talking about? You know exactly what's going to happen to this painting and what it's going to look like in the end because I'm going to provide you these beautiful, wonderfully taken work in progress photos. See the texture? See it? Can you see it? Oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? It's like a little amoebas dancing around and stuff. Like, I just created something. Like, I created, like, you know, like a single celled kind of organism and it grew into something. You know what I mean? Look at that. Look, look, look. look. It's crazy. It looks so cool. And that's the other thing that sucks that, you know, it, I got all these people watching from all over the planet. You got to get in there sometimes and touch them. I don't mind if people touch my paintings. I don't mind if they run their hands over Because believe me, I protect them. I put good varnish on them. I don't mind that because that's why my paintings are there. Because you see that and you want to put your hand on it. Um, I don't mind. Listen, you can touch me. I mean, uh, you can touch my paintings. I'm sorry. What was I saying? Uh, you can touch my paintings. You just can't be crazy. You know what I mean? I don't mind. Some people are like, freak out if you touch a painting. You could touch mine because you're going to see them and you're going to want to feel them because it's there for a reason. We put this, we put everything into it. We, when I say we, I mean me. Put everything into it because, see, there's some of the maroon you didn't get to see. Look at that. It's, I forget, it's a cold, it's a golden color is what it is. It's magenta, whatever. And this is what she looks like finished. Take a good look. Yeah, you see, you got to see it in person. It's like swirling and sucking you in or is it pushing you out? Who knows? Who knows what's happening there? Who knows? You can find out, though. I can show you.